So this under the radar tweak to the Hugging Face Small Agents Library just made it the ultimate web connected AI research assistant. Since launch, Small Agents has gained traction because of its model agnostic design that allows you to connect to a range of different LLM providers, including to local open source models like DeepSeek R10528 through Olama. A recent update introduced the use structured outputs internally argument to the code agent function that allows agents to emit validated JSON objects. This makes small agents one of the most practical frameworks for building AI agents that scour the web to create tabular spreadsheet datasets. Paired with the built-in web search tool, an agent can now fetch live data, run inline calculations, and return structured output. This tutorial will show you how to build a custom data set for any topic using this new small agents feature, along with a local open source LLM through Olama directly on your laptop. And all of this will be done in less than 20 lines of code. In addition to the small agents framework and a local Olama server, the AI tech stack will include Light LLM, which acts as a connector between small agents and Olama, as well as the 8 billion parameter model of Quen3 a recent state-of-the-art LLM distillation that you can run on a laptop. You can swap out this model for another preferred model, such as DeepSeek R1 or Google's Gemma 3. Finally, we'll briefly use the Pandas library to transform the pulled structured data into a tabular spreadsheet dataset. So let's start by installing the latest version of the Olama desktop application, as well as setting up our Python environment. Go to olama.com and click the download button choose your operating system, and then click download again. Follow the installation instructions after the download completes, and then open up a terminal if you're on a Mac or a command prompt if you're on Windows, and write olama pull quen 3 colon 8 b. This will initiate the model download. Now open up a new terminal or command prompt and create a new Python environment with the following libraries. Small agents with the light LLM toolkit, pandas, and IPy kernel. If you've previously used small agents before and don't want to create a new environment, make sure to update to the latest small agents version, which should at least be version 1.17. With the environment set up, move to your code editor and create a new Jupyter notebook. Start by importing the pandas library and then import from small agents the code agent, web search tool, and light LLM modules. Then initiate the model object by setting the model ID to olama underscore chat, followed by a forward slash and the model's name. We'll now wire everything together in the code agent function. Add web search tool to the tools list, set the model to our model object, set use structured outputs internally to true, and then optionally set a low max number of steps to speed up the web research and data preparation process. This next chunk of code is how we'll initialize the agent to do its web research. I'll show you how to do it for one piece of information and then show you how to loop it to create entire data sets. Use the agent.run method, followed by a prompt that asks for the exact keys of data to be returned as a JSON object. For instance, here I've asked the agent to give me one fact about the Great Barrier Reef, along with a word count of the fact. I'll run this code and print the final result, which will stream the model's thinking as it iteratively works through the web search and data preparation process. You'll see the different steps as well as the execution logs that include search results and code used to natively calculate the requested word count with Python code. At the end, you'll see the final result, which is outputted as JSON. Let's now cover how to do this at scale as a means of creating an entire dataset. I start by declaring the topics, which is in a list of three tuples. Each tuple pairs a subject string with the two JSON keys I want back, fact and word count. Next, I initialize rows as an empty list. That's where every validated JSON response will be saved to. Inside the for loop, I unpack each subject and its keys, then fill a Mad Lib style F string prompt that asks the agent for a JSON object containing exactly those fields. I then execute agent.run with the prompt. After that, I double check that the AI agent output actually returned a dictionary and inject a field for the subject whether it was the Great Barrier Reef, Mount Everest, or Saturn. Then I append the dictionary into the rows list. If for some reason a dictionary wasn't outputted, the code just logs and skips it. Finally, I use the pandas data frame to coerce the dictionaries into a tabular dataset. 
And that's pretty much it. You can also export the dataset as a CSV or XLSX file for analysis elsewhere. If you found this tutorial useful, make sure to subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more videos on the latest AI models and tools.